you're about to witness the most amazing Chinese, Shanghainese food in the capital region. You all know how it is. Sometimes you want Chinese food from your local takeout place, and sometimes you want kind of a finer dining experience. We have a restaurant called Ala Shanghai. It's in Latham, New York, which is right around the corner here. Pretty much the most authentic Chinese food you can get in the area. The one thing they kind of specialize in are soup dumplings, which are called Shaolong Bao, which are the most amazing thing. If you haven't had them, you're gonna to wanna to stick around and see how those are. You won't believe kind of what's inside of this. I, I, I'll I show it to you. It's the greatest thing ever. Uh, we're also gonna try a couple other things, pick on some stuff throughout the night here. We just hopped on their website. They actually have an ordering portal through the website and we're just gonna do everything that way. But one thing I notice is you guys watching this, most of you guys aren't subscribed. So make sure you hit that bell down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, let's head out. We got a little bit of a two bag situation here. I'm gonna unpack this and instead of unpacking everything individually, what I'll do is I'll lay everything out on the table and I'll walk you through everything that we got today. So I told you these are the most amazing soup dumplings. We actually got two varieties. These are pork and then we have pork and crab. We got some scallion pancake to snack on. Noah's got some crispy fried noodles there. Yep. We got some of our favorite, just sesame chicken, very simple with some white rice. Cassie's got brown rice there. And then the, I'm gonna try this after we try everything else. This is sauteed beef and dried tofu. You can see there's some jalapeno peppers. Usually it gives me a little trouble to get through, but I love it anyway. So we don't have the special spoons they give you when you dine in house. So I, I got the biggest spoon I got here and they give you like the black vinegar that you put on these soup dumplings. Now, these are a special thing. Not a lot of places around here actually make them. They are, they have like pork and like gelatinized stock inside. And then when they steam them with a the little, you know, pouch here, you get like a little bit of soup inside. So like, there's a whole technique to this. You can see it's already running out. You gotta eat out the soup first and then down with the whole dumpling. My God, that's good. This is one of the places that early on in 2020, they actually had to shut down for a while just because of availability of ingredients. So we haven't gone there since then, just because we've been going other places as you've seen you know, here on the channel. When we want like a special version of Chinese food, this is always what we go for, um, especially those soup dumplings, so amazing. I'm gonna try one of the ones with crab. In the past, I haven't liked them, but um, we're gonna try everything here. So you can see the ones with the crab have a little bit of like color on top so you can tell the difference. Now, when you eat these in the restaurant, they come out steaming hot. Like it's almost like, it's funny to watch people eat them. I know even myself, I always go in way too early, but now we, it was kind of a 20 minute transit home. So let's see. Hmm. You know what, that's actually pretty good. It's a little bit com more complex flavor than the pork one. The pork one are kind of simple, straightforward to the point. And uh, the crab, pretty good. Got a little scallion pancake action. Now this is like a nice crispy pancake that has some scallion in it. It's got some nice layers. Theirs is actually a lot crispier. I gotta pass one along here. Theirs is crispier than when you get it from Chinese takeout. Uh, the container they use is also kind of a top notch container. Very delicious. These have a tendency if you get them from Chinese takeout to be gummy. Um, but this is like very flaky, almost like puff pastry in a, in a sense. You can even see kind of the layers there. I gotta go in for another pork soup dumpling. <laughs> Soupy. Just like any other Chinese takeout, they give you soy sauce and duck sauce packets. Now notice, they're this company. When you get these, the Chinese food is usually pretty good. When they have like a dragon or something, it's usually kind of not as good. Those sauces are not as good. These are kind of the top notch to go sauces. So next up, I gotta try my, my favorite, the, the dried tofu and beef. It's in kind of like a brown gravy. And what I love about this is, you saw those jalapenos that were in there. Usually when you get like a really spicy dish at a Chinese restaurant, they use the Sichuan peppercorns, which to me are more numbing. I know they're really spicy, but like when you use fresh jalapeno, it's like almost a different, like fruitier kind of heat, which I love. So we're gonna dig right in. Like I said, this is really, really spicy. 
Got a little everything there in that bite. Pepper still has its snap, and boy is that spicy. To cool it down, I got my white rice on the plate here. I got some of these crispy noodles that we actually messed up. So when we ordered, we, uh, we had ordered those, but there was a, an option to select a protein with it. We didn't select that, and he called me and was like, what protein do you want? And um, we were like, no, we just want plain. We thought they were like, now that he's hitting me. We thought they were like pan fried noodles, but they end up being kind of like this harder, almost like ramen in texture, nice and crispy. So yeah, I love this dish so much. This is like my favorite thing to order there. I wonder if we do a little bit of this kind of thing. Got my scallion pancake, a little bit of the beef and tofu. Now, if you know me, tofu is not really a regular food that I eat. There's two dishes in the area that I really think excel when it comes to tofu. This is one of them, obviously. And another one is at Bombers, the barbecue tofu fries. That's just more of a junky thing. But this, let's see, let's see how we did. I'll put a little, little white rice on there too. That's the move right there. As far as what the sauce tastes like with this beef and dried tofu, it's very much like like a thinner version of uh, like the simplest Chinese sauce that you can have. Clearly there's some like oyster sauce, soy sauce kind of mixture kind of thing. I don't know how they make it. It's a little bit sweet. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I usually like the crispier stuff when it comes to Chinese takeout, but like if I'm gonna sit down in the restaurant, this is like the meal that I will sit there and eat. And I'm even starting to get the sniffles a little bit. The amount of jalapeno in this is no joke. Look at that. I was so busy talking to you guys, I didn't even get to try a piece of the sesame chicken. They finished it on me. Anyway, comment down below where you want to see us go next. If you like this video, you're really going to love when we tried ramen a few weeks ago. You can check that out right here. And I'll post a link to all my dining reviews right up here. And you can check all that out. Have an awesome day. Make sure you subscribe, like this video. And we'll see you next time.